So he gets in on a single leg. Now this time, we're gonna start working our wizard in here. So Cooper comes up with a single leg. Now, big thing with this wizard, just as review, what we wanna do with this is we don't wanna be out here loose. We wanna really get this arm in. A good gauge is to have like your elbow basically in line with the back here. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn here, is I really like to put my hand on my thigh here, and I kind of like to pry it like this. See how it's pointing Cooper down? That's what I want. I want to break his posture and make him feel a lot of pressure and weight on this shoulder. Because if he has good posture and he's up, now he can start stepping out and getting my leg up. We don't want that. So I'm here. I like to put hand on the thigh here. Now from here, I don't ever want to keep my head low like this because he can go for like a half Nelson, cradle me there. He could go over my head again. Now from here, he could go underhook here, throw me in my back, cow catcher or crusher, depending where you're from. And I've got a different name for that. So what I want to do is we're here. I got my pry. I'm keeping a lot of weight on it. Now when I have this wizard, I want to be, I don't have to like aggressively drive into him, but I want to be pushing into him. That's going to help add weight and pressure to the, his lock here. Now the next thing I'm going to do, keep my head in line with this. That way, I'm not going to get a cow catcher or crusher. And now, it's kind of hard to keep your balance here sometimes. So I like to have the hand on the mat a little bit so it's easier for me to hop around while also keeping this pressure. If I take my hand off, see how it alleviates some of that? If I stay here, it's easy for me to, to continue to keep this pressure on. Now every now and then, he's gonna be trying to get, get his posture back and take my leg up. So every now and then, I wanna keep this pressure, but I wanna check in with this wrist and see if he's still got a tight grip or if I can pry it loose. Now as I'm fighting this wrist here, I also want to use my leg. And they're gonna, my wrist, or my hand here on his wrist is gonna pull his wrist this way, and my leg's gonna go the opposite way. So I can try to break this lock like this. Now it's gonna be a fight, you're not gonna probably get that the first time. First try, so we're gonna be moving here. Try to keep my weight down, make this suck for him, make him feel the weight of my leg. Now, every now and then, I'm checking in. Oh, I can't get out here, I'm back here, moving around. Check it in. Now I broke. Once I break this lock, I'm not gonna just hang out here. He can re-grab my leg. So from here, I'm gonna circle out. Now we're back in a neutral wrestling position. Now, two things where the reattack comes in from here. So if we're here and we're hanging out, and this guy's really hanging on to my leg. One thing you should keep an eye out for is this ankle. If I can get him to move and this comes forward, guess what I can do from here? ankle pick. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to keep this wizard. All I'm going to do is reach to that ankle and jump that way at the same time. Here. Look at that. Ankle pick. Now I come up. Try to pass the guard or if it's wrestling, try to finish the takedown. So again, we're here. We're fighting here. I'm being patient. This guy is going to start making mistakes. He's going to start getting tired because we're just putting so much weight on him. So if he doesn't bail and he continues to hang on, and you think you can reach that ankle, you're gonna reach just like an ankle pick for the ankle there, you're gonna jump in here. Right here. Come up, finish. Only other thing I wanna point out is if we're here, we're fighting, we break the wrist to get our leg out, this is an opportunity. He's not expecting you to attack, he's expecting you to just get out of here and reset. No, we want to catch him by surprise. So as I'm circling, I can look ankle pick. As he's coming up here, I can look high C, double. It's a great time to just go for something. Because as you're circling, remember, he's here. I got him down. So as I break this lock, he's still down, right? As I circle out, he starts coming up. Look at that. Perfect opportunity to stay under him, shoot him. Any questions on that? Awesome. One, two.